Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Very, very funny weather today. It looks like rain, it feels like rain, it smells like rain, but we still have not seen any rain. Oh, how nice it will be if it does rain now. Alright, so today's vlog is going to be about my training week. What I do, what I have been doing for the past three weeks since I've got into, back into my training. I went through a week before that though where I had a massive slump and had a total meltdown, which I thought was because of other things, but it wasn't. It was actually because I had not been training for up to like five or six days. It was starting to feel really crap. When I realized that it was the training, I thought, right, first thing I need to do is get myself back to training and then everything else will fall into place and like it always does, that is what happened. If you're feeling crap, if you're going through something that's tough, if you're struggling, just show up. I just showed up, I knew I would, my fitness was nowhere where it was and I just got through it. Then I showed up again, got through it again, showed up again, got through it again. Three weeks in and I've been showing up for at least four times a week. The routine is back on track. Sundays, one of the most dreaded training days, to be honest. And you'll see why in a minute. Good Are you just arriving? Are you just saying goodbye to your love? No. Is that why you're out here? No, Sneaking like sneaky kisses around the corner? What's all that you. about? <laughs> <laughs> so I was explaining why I dread Sundays. I dread Sundays because I train with these two people. This one here Good morning. and that one there. And they push you like you've never been pushed before and then you feel like you want to die and you don't quit so you keep going and you die and you die. And we are doing a repeat of a workout we did last week. Seven rounds, 15 reps of three different moves. What are the moves, Rich? Oh. Oh, good morning, Rich. Good morning. Too much hanky swing. panky, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. 15. 15 kettlebell swings, 15 box jumps, and 15 power cleans. Yeah, nasty. It's my first time, isn't Welcome it? Welcome to the vlog, Sari Bang. That's exciting. You, Sari comes in, and all he does is he works the shoulders. Like, he's got a natural upside down triangle shape. Yeah. Such yeah. bullshit. That's, that's, that's what I say. <laughs> And we are good to go. Box for box jumps, 24 inch barbell for power cleans. Rich is doing 10 kilos. I am doing 10 pounds. And a kettlebell for swings. Now, because I've done this workout before and it's a repeat, you kind of fix where you think you can improve things. I think last time I didn't split the workout enough. I tried to bang out 15 reps as far as I could in one go, whereas now I'm gonna try and do every set every round eight seven eight seven of every move i think that might be a smart strategy if i shave any time off that i'll be a happy woman How do you feel? How do you feel done that workout? <laughs> it was hard. The Black Master joined us today. Finished with 15-15. Rich was next. Max came in at 21-57. And I got a PB. 24 minutes. Three minutes slower than the cap. But two minutes off my first go. What was your time? What? 20 minutes 20-50. Just made it. So much faster than last time. Good job. Matt came in with the vengeance. He kicked ass. Max couldn't finish this workout last week because her back was absolutely done from deadlifts the day before. And she did like one round and then she rested. Three rounds, three three rounds three in pain. Rounds. And then she rested. Today she came in, came in with a vengeance, revenge on the 21.57. Nice one, Max. Good job. High five. Oh, it's not raining yet. Rain, rain, where are you? In other news, Jumeirah Village Circle has turned into a complete construction site. It is worse than ever. I've been living here for eight years. We are probably in the first building ever in JVC and it's just gotten worse. This shit happening over here, that's the stuff that's driving me nuts at night at the moment. All you hear is Madness. I'm really happy that you didn't surprise me with anything funny 
while you were all alone. Should we go for walkies? Come on Milo, let's go for walkies. That's it, let's go. Walking time, walking time. Good sit. That's what the trainer said we should do. Good sit. That's what's been keeping me up at night. <gasps> it's raining, what is that? <sighs> That's raindrops, Milo. Yay! I think we need to go home, Milo. Day one of training done for this week. Three more to go. Good sit. Good sit. Good boy. Good job. Well done. Good morning, guys. So, this is day two of my training week. And the second day, I normally do body salad on a Monday if I can make it. I almost did not make it this morning. Look who we have there. Hello, Milo. How are you, Milo? Hello. At least he's happy to see me for once. Normally he's not that happy. And the rain is gone, the clouds are clearing up. So like I said, almost didn't make it because my back was feeling a little bit iffy. And I thought, oh, body salad today, wait, is it a smart idea? Do I train, don't I train? A lot of people ask this question, do I train through an in injury? Um, it's obviously not an injury, it's just a bit tight. And it feels like I've kind of got a nerve trapped in my glute, my bum cheek. I decided to train. I feel a bit better than I did last night. I'm gonna train, but obviously just not push to the max, but I'm gonna get the body moving. If you're sick, if you're thinking, do I train, don't I train? I say, if you feel fine enough to train, train. Pace yourself, take it down level, but show up, that's what I think. If you're dying, obviously, and you can't breathe, and you're coughing nonstop, and you, all of that, and you've got a you know, fever that's through the roof, you know, relax, your body's telling you something. But all other cases, Go and train. Yes, got it. How are you? I've got eyebrows on. I've got eyebrows on. Body salad Max is starting us off with thrusters. I don't know what we're doing. Eames, what are we doing? Welcome to the vloggy. Welcome to Great. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Body Salad. Oh, that's a big barley. It's thruster, right? If you hate weights, or if you don't know how to do weights, this class is the best way to get started. You go slow, you partner up with someone, they focus on the technique rather than the strength, and it's the best way to get the fundamentals down. If you're fit and you know what you're doing, and you want to get fitter or stronger or build more lean muscle mass, it is a great class to do. You go through the, the paces and you get a solid workout in. 20 minutes in and I am dripping in sweat. That one over there, Miss Hollywood, if I go over and I ask her if her hair's wet, I bet you she's still got the blow up intact. Rula, how's your hair? Oh my God, she's not even sweating yet. It's leg action time. Squats, front squats. Going nice and light because my back is dodging. Something yeah, else, seriously. <laughs> oh, number two of the week done. Body salad or somewhere else in the week, I'll try and squeeze in some lifting. I've started trying to get into Olympic lifting only because I want to learn some new technique of new moves and because 
I want to broaden my knowledge a little bit. Another thing I'd like to add is I normally wear lycra trousers. Today, for some reason, I'm wearing cotton. Rule of thumb, never wear gray melange or light gray, ladies. You will have a big wet patch between your crotch when the class is done. Second of all, same goes with black. So I'm wearing black cotton and I've got a nice sweaty patch of black going on like I've wet myself not cool at all but in other news how cool is my t-shirt I've cut out sugar I'm day two sugar free I'm not gonna have sugar until the weekend because I was going a bit crazy people don't understand the struggles of being a woman a mother a mother Eames please explain the one boot bigger than the other situation <laughs> like my ball you've got one testicle bigger than the other you need to empty them <laughs> do you have one Check Nikos. Oh. I dated a guy once with one testicle. No, yeah, that's all right. Well, that's not all right. Two. For the record, Nikos too. But it's okay if they only have one, right? Cool. Double check again. <laughs> one, is big, one is bigger than the other. No, Nikos balls are even. No, check it. <laughs> tonight is the night. <laughs>